Hello everyone and welcome to Facebook Sunday. I'm just going to move my lights a little bit. I think they're a little bit too bright here. There we go. How's that? I can never seem to get them in the right spot. Thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, StampersDelight.com. How's everybody doing today? So for today's video, what I picked out was See a Silhouette Suite, which I, at first, like a lot of them, wasn't sure if I wanted, okay, but now I love it. So when you see this, let me ask you what it reminds you of, because I know what it reminds me of. Anyway, all right, so before we get started, let me remind you of a couple of specials, okay, if you're just tuning in. We haven't started yet, so I'm just giving you a couple of specials that we have going on. The bonus days, let me just grab my glasses here. Bonus days for every $50 that you um, purchase, you get a $5 coupon. So what happens in July is you purchase $50 or more before shipping and tax, and you get a $5 coupon for each $50 to use in August. The other special that we have is extra, extra sign up to be a demonstrator under me and you can get um, $155 worth of merchandise for $99 you get that this month and then next you'll also get a coupon for $10 for your first order okay so that's another great special hi Vicki hi Stacy hi Fran how are you the next special we have actually starts and I'm gonna pull that away a little bit that starts August 1st with our Paper Pumpkin. Every month, if you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, you get a nice little kit sent to your house. August is called Bags and Tags. It's these cute little bags with some tags. And if you maybe don't want to do the tags and the bags, you want to do something else, we have an add-on bundle of cards and envelopes. So that's an add-on bundle for $10. You would get the bundle through your demonstrator, me, okay? Um, you can't get it on the Paper Pumpkin site, so just contact me. Hi, hi, Victoria. Hi, Brenda. So, again, in case you missed it, what I'm doing today is see a silhouette. And uh, those are the specials, so thank you for tuning in. Um, just to let you know that um, you can purchase your orders online through me, stampersdelight.com. I am close to Maui, so I'm stamping my way to Maui. Won't you help? So anyway, okay, let's get started. And I'm going to flip the camera. Okay, so here is my host code for this month. If you're ordering online, you want to go to stampersdelight.com and use that host code, okay? Alrighty, and I hope everybody's staying cool in this hot weather. Okay, see a silhouette. Let me just bring that in. Is on page one thirty two and one thirty three of the annual catalog. You can see it here. Stamp set, the bundle. You can use this code and get everything on here that you see. The first thing I thought of when I saw this set was, mm, I don't, you know, I mean, some sets just just hop out at you. You got to have them. This one was one I was like, well, yeah, I like it, but well, let me tell you something. After going through this catalog several times, I got so many great ideas for this. And I don't know about anyone else, but you know what the first thing I thought of was when I saw this? Was shadow dancing. How many of you have seen shadow dancing on like America's Got Talent? Well, that's what I thought of. So let and I'm gonna do it a little bit different tonight. Usually I show you a lot of uh, 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 several stamp uh, samples. Jeez, I can't talk today. Uh, I'm doing it a little bit different tonight. Okay, I don't have a lot of samples because we're gonna be doing a little bit more stamping. So going with the um, shadow dancing, I did this card. Okay, now this is a Z fold card, and as you can see, it's the little kids, and they are in used. I did the embossing. Okay, there's um, that's our new black. Let me just tell you what it's exactly called here. 
Okay, so it is the Shimmer Black Embossing Powder. All right. And when you open it up, it says go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And I opened it up. Keep dreaming and then forever. I just thought it looked like shadow dancing because of the, uh, the um, silhouettes. So that's the first one we're going to be doing. Now, again, this is with the, and I'll bring this back in. This is with the designer series paper. This is with the um, stamp set. So here are, here's the stamp set. I don't know why that seems to be um, a little heat thing here going on because my, everything is stopped. Let me just try something. I'm going to just see if this works. Okay. All right. So there's the stamp set. And here is the matching dies. You got the tree and a dandelion and the words inspire forever and adventure. Okay. So again, that's what I used and I did shadow dancing. And I just thought, you know, the kids growing up to adults. Okay, so let's just get started with that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now, I already cut some of this because I didn't want to take up too much time. I will give you the uh, measurements, and I will also put them on the instructions later on. So the difference with this is that I always like to change something up, so I'm changing up the color. Okay, just so you can see the different colors. So for the... The larger piece, the base, it's four and a quarter by eleven, and I will type. I will put all this on there later. It's scored at two and three quarters and five and a half, and then this piece, which goes right. No, there's no dies for the people. You have to fussy cut those. Okay, and let me just show you. I can't. I mean, I don't. I have a a brother scan and cut for anything that doesn't have dyes. And that brings up a good point. Everybody says, well, if you have the scan and cut, why would you buy the dyes? Because the dyes get in a lot closer and they're, they get in the intricate parts. But for things that don't have dyes, I use that scan and cut. And, you know, with classes, it works out good for me. Okay, so back to this. 11 and a, um, four and a quarter by 11 is the base piece. The next piece that's lining up with that is three and three quarters by 10. You know, so you have a border here. Now the scoring on this piece, and you'll see this with Seaside Spray, is two and a quarter by five. But if you want to get lazy, I'm going to show you, well, I shouldn't say lazy. I like to do anything that... Um, saves me time. We're going to try it a different way. I'm just going to go ahead, snail this down, and pray it works because I haven't tried it yet, but I figured it's got to work, right? <laughs> Talk about being brave. Okay, so let me just lay this down here so I get it straight. I'm going to go ahead and lay that right in there and pray that it's right. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer with the scoring blade and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to score it okay keep your fingers crossed stampers to the original um, base score that I told you about let's see how this works <laughs> two and three quarters or you can just fold it actually make sure I'm scoring it not cutting it and the next one is at five and a half. This way, I'm not scoring twice. I can score it once and get the same effect. Okay. Now that didn't go, I mean, it does go through. There's a very fine line there, but it gives me enough to fold it. 
could have flipped it over too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and burnish that down with my bone folder. There's my fold line right there. Well, it does work. So that's two ways you can do it. We want to get a good burnishing here, okay? There we go. And there you go. So again, you could do it both ways. And I will, I mean, you see the video how I did it, but I will put the actual score dimension on, on there for the Mango Melody. So this is Poppy Parade and Mango Melody, okay? Now, I'm just going to move this out of the way so I can get to the, my other pieces. Sorry about that. Let's get over here. Okay, so the next thing I have to bring in are the smaller pieces. Okay. Hello, Donna Gray. How are you? so happy I don't know what time it is there but thank you for joining hi Angie hi Vicki okay so the DSP the designer series paper let me just tell you what that is okay the smaller one is two by three and a half and that's gonna go right there and again no worries I will put these on there two by three and a half the next one is going to, I think I actually like scoring them separately. It's a little thick there, but it works. The next one is two and a half by three and a half. It's going to go right in there. And then the larger piece is four and three quarters by three and a half. And we're just going to line that up there and lay it down. And you can keep burnishing that a little bit if you really want to get a good crisp edge. Okay. Now I'm going to bring in the next piece, which is um, our strip that goes across. And this should be, let me just make sure I got that. Yep. Okay, the strip, the wider strip here is one and a half by 11. Now you can do it any size you want. I did one and a half by 11. And if you notice on this one, I didn't do designer series paper. However, this one I'm going to. So the next piece here is the designer series paper. Okay, is one, I think it's, let's see, let me just measure that again thought I had put it on there. Pretty sure I did. I know it's one inch. Oh yeah, it's one inch. Let's see, this is, let me just double check this. Yeah, one inch and this is one and three quarters. Now this is 11 and this is 11 also. Okay, so it's going to line up right there. So let me just try this one. And what I'm going to do is just, uh, I got to grab my scoring blade again. Okay, so the one and a half inch, you're going to score at two and three quarters. And then five and a half. Okay. If I don't, if I'm not answering you, it's because my head is down, but I will answer your questions later. So share my video, ask questions. I'm just going to fold this so I can see these. Now, this is what I meant by doing it separately. Okay. And here's my other piece, which is going to layer right on there. I already scored that. So I'm just going to go back, back through and burnish that a little bit. Okay. So this is going to lay right on here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and snail that down. One thing I will tell you, if you're using snail and it's humid out, use extra. You don't want your cards falling apart. And I'm just going to set this right in here where the crease is so I know that it's 
in there. Okay. Let's fix something here. Okay. I'm going to just lift that up a minute and move it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then again, I'm going to burnish it again, making sure I get a good fold. And for some reason, see, this is what I mean. Sometimes the humidity, and I had the dehumidifier on down here, but unfortunately it makes too much noise. Okay. So that was the longer piece. Okay. So now... You might think that the small piece goes, whoop, the small piece goes here, but it doesn't. The longer piece goes here. And you're going to actually fold that, whoop, <laughs> I'm having finger trouble here today. You're going to actually fold this back and forth. Okay, so this is going to go right here. This one goes inside there. Now it's up to you. You can lay that down at the edge total edge of the card or you can do it like this one where there's a edging can you see that so let's let's just do it up a little bit I like to have a little bit of the color showing now when you glue this down you want to make sure that you only go part way otherwise you'll be sticking it to your card where you don't want it. You can use Snail, you can use Tombow. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right here. So I'm just showing a little bit of the edge here. Can you see that? Now I've done Z fold cards before, so you, you do, there are videos, my videos out there with them. But the thing with this one I liked was the fact that it looked like the silhouette, the, uh, shadow dancing all right so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and just snail this down okay and again just gonna put that right there am I in camera view good okay and then I like to burnish everything again just to make sure it's down right and there's your Z fold. Now I already cut out and did the pieces that I want. And I'm going to use the nestled dies here for that. For the sayings. Okay, so let me bring in. Poppy Parade, and I love the sayings on this. These these are great. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Doesn't it look like something would be on America's Got Talent? And then the little one is going to say, keep dreaming. So my stamping's done there. And then the, the, the other dies that are in here, again, inspire forever and adventure. And I'm going to be using a couple of those in my next card. So we have that. Let's put that over there for now. And what I'm going to do next is start putting my people on there. Okay, so there's my people I want here. And then my little kids. Okay, so I'm going to start with her. Okay, so there she is on the swing set. And I'm just going to layer her right here. The next one is the little boy. You could do it any way you want with the plane. He's going to go right here. And then the next one, the girl that's looking up to the sky. Remember, you don't want to glue the whole thing down. You want just half of it. Okay. 
like that. I'm serious. It doesn't look like shadow dancing to me. <laughs> I got so excited when I realized that. Doesn't take much, right? And then we're going to put him right here. And then when you open it up, our adult people are going to go right there. And you can layer that. I mean, you can glue that whole thing down. Now, remember what I said. If you're using snail, use a little extra when it's humid out. Okay. And I'm just going to put them right up here. And there you have it, our shadow dancers. No, it's DSP, um, Bridget. This is our the, the designer series paper that goes with it. Okay, so right here, I'm going to put, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And if you notice... Okay, been out and back in several times. I've watched three lives today, and all of them had issues. Okay, I don't see any anybody else having issues, but again, the humidity and everything um, could be doing that. Okay, so I'm just going to put this saying right up here. You can also use um, dimensionals and... I'm just going to lay that right on here. Now, I didn't put any on the end because I don't want it to stick, but there. Oop. You see what I did? I wanted Thoreau's name to show, so let me just... Yeah, that's okay. All right. Well, maybe I can get it. Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's good. All right, so there's that piece. And it overhangs a little bit. Remember, these are the nestled dies. Inside here, I'm going to put the Keep Dreaming. I know this paper is so uh, versatile. Versatile is the word I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. And then my Forever is going to go above that right here. But with the Forever, you can use Tombow. I prefer to use detailed glue with something this thin. It's a, For me, I have a little more control. You, you see I have them both out here, along with my nail, along with my uh, tear tape. There's so many uses for different items, okay? I like to have them all out. Okay, so there I just dotted a few. And I'm just going to flip this around, lay that down for a second, and I'm just going to put forever right there. Just hold it for a second. Make sure you tight, you put your cap back on the detailed glue, okay, because it does um, get clogged up very fast. And there you have it, another shadow card, silhouette card, using the Z-fold. So let me just flip the camera real quick so you can see how that looks this way. So when it's closed, it looks like that. And as you're opening it, great, great card for um, graduations. Here's the blue one. My shadow dancing card. Did you like that one? Okay, well, let me show you what I have for you next. Let me flip the camera back down and see which one we're going to do next. Okay. Over here, I have... Oh, yeah, here we go. Another card. And I'm going to show you this one because this one I kind of took from the book okay and it's right here I took this idea but I changed it up a little bit oh thanks Gail this one I liked but I wanted to change it up just a tad so let me show you how I did that one in the book it looks like they may have put Wink Estella on the leaves okay I actually used the um, 
embossing powder, the shimmery embossing powder, the black here, and then I cut this out in black, and then I added a little white embossing powder to the leaves. And then that's adventure. She's dreaming of adventure. And then inside, it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams, and she's pointing up. I just love these cards. So, or this set, I should say. Well, the cards do. Okay, so let me get the pieces here. Now, okay, I'm going to have to get up. I'm just trying not to get up. Talk about being lazy today. It's just one of those days. Let me grab those pieces. And I'm going to show you a couple of things here. Now I'm going to change up the color. And some people ask me how I figure out what colors to use. Well, one of the things I do when I'm using designer series paper is I really do look at the colors they use. Sometimes I go with it and sometimes I change my own. This one, and again, I don't know how it's going to look because I haven't done it yet. I'm using the Blackberry Bliss. Whereas here I use the Mango, Mango Melody and the Poppy Parade again. I'm going to do it just a little bit different because this one didn't have a back backing to it. This one has the seaside spray because I, this, this designer series paper right here was a little too dark, I thought, to layer it like that. It probably would look okay, but I wanted to add a little bit more brightness to it. So I layered it. I'm going to layer it that way. Okay. Yeah, Facebook has been kind of strange lately. I know. And then some people say that it freezes. Some people say it's blurry. Others say they don't have a problem. Unfortunately, we live in the age of technology. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just glue that right down. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I'm just going to go ahead and glue it right down. Now, I already cut the tree out with the um, dye, okay? And let me show you how I got that little bit of white on there. Actually, I got a lot of white on there. I'm actually going to do a little bit of heat embossing here. So what I did was I just took my bone folder and the tree, if you could see this, and I mushed a couple of spots with the Versamark sporadically. This time I'm going to do a little bit less, I think. Just a little bit. And then, bringing in my tray, do the shimmery white embossing powder. We like anything that shimmers, glitters, or sparkles. And just Go all the way around here. Wherever it lands, wherever it sticks is fine. Give it a quick little tap, tap, tap. I do have to put this back because I am going to be using the black too. So I'm, all I'm doing off camera here is putting it back into my tray. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring in my heat tool. I'm just going to heat this up. Once it starts heating up, it does it pretty quick. I'm just adding some. I can even lay it down. I'm not going to hurt anything it's, as long as I keep moving it. If I don't get it all, it's just going to fall off. And that's okay, too. I think I got all of it. Okay. I'm just going to go with that. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the table and you'll hear a crash. Okay, so there's my tree. Now, 
just going to see where I want this and I'm going to have to cut a little piece off. You can cut it off before you layer it down if you want, but because I kind of knew which piece I was going to have to cut off. So you see how that tree is going to hang off here or maybe there. So this is the piece I'm going to cut off. And what I'm going to do is just take that whole branch off. Oh boy. I'm going to have to use my scissors here. These are my ribbon cutting scissors. Well, let's do it anyway. All right. So now my branch is big enough or small enough for my card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use, again, I'm going to use my detailed glue only because those pieces right there are very small. Let me get back in camera view here. Yeah, I wish I could figure out that, you know, what happens with technology. One day, everything works fine. The next day, people, um, you know, everybody's saying it's blurry or it cuts in and out. I'm not sure. When I look at back at them, it's usually okay. If it's not, I just hope that you get the gist of what's going on here. Okay. And there we go. All right, I'm just going to put that back in here. And then I'm just going to flip my tree around and lay it on my card. Now, this piece right here I'll use for something else. Just going to layer that right up here. Press it down for a minute. There it is. Now remember, this is a silhouette, so you're not going to see it real well. But now this one was a lighter color here. And this is dark, so I don't even know how this is going to come out. But I just know I wanted to try a different color. And I like trying it out, things out sometimes live. I have you stampers to tell me whether it looks good or not. Okay, and she's going to go right here. Versamark right on top of that <clears throat> let's see what happens it looks like it's on there i'm going to take my i could have done all this without putting it on the card base too i'm going to go ahead and take my black the shimmery black yes you can put a lot on here because it's all going back in when you're done you can use your um embossing buddy first which i didn't it's sitting right in front of me, but I didn't. And I see a little spot right there on her feet that didn't get done. So let me just. Truthfully, half the time I forget to use my embossing buddy. And I will just take off some of those little flakes. But the embossing buddy does work wonders. Or I'll take a little um, brush and brush off the glitter. The nice thing about this glitter or shimmer is it kind of adds to the card okay so there she is if you can see her I can't keep you on thanks for everything okay I don't know what that means but okay Pam all right and I'm gonna heat that up Okay, now one of the things, once it's heated up, one of the things I wanted to tell you is sometimes it makes, when you're heating it, it buckles. Let it cool off, and what I do is I hit it backwards, and it just happens to straighten it out. Most of the time it works. Okay, just a little trick. Yes, you could do it in white too, Gail. If you, you want, if with the white glitter, you could have done her in white. Yes. I don't know. Black just reminds me of the shadow dancer. So that's why I guess I was playing around with it. Okay. There we go. This one, 
we have the adventure now something else I wanted to show you I cut the adventure out this one is gonna go down here this one went up to the top do you see this little curly cue right here well when I put the adventure up there in the uh, poppy parade it was too big so I just cut it off and look you can't even it looks like it belongs that way this one I'm gonna do it on the bottom and again I'm using my detailed glue and I'm just dotting it because it's so small I don't want to try to like write the words can you see that I'm just dotting it using my finger I could use my tool to do that okay and again I'm gonna close this up so in the meantime don't forget to share my videos um, you can share my YouTube videos I really appreciate it okay and I'm just gonna lay that one down oh thanks yeah I kind of like the purple and black too and then adventure right there so you see the two different ones now on the inside we're gonna do go confidently in the direction of your dreams and I'm going to stamp that with oh I forgot my seaside spray let me just grab that one why is my seaside spray not here oh there it is okay I have I don't know if you can see um, in the back I have um, my class on Tuesday so all right, let's move that out of the way. Okay, so again, I'm using the saying that I used before, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. I need a bigger table. Okay. And do that in the seaside spray. And then I'm going to take her because she's the one looking up to the sky you see I ink that off I'm actually inking it off one more time and then I'll put it on the card can you see that because I just barely want the image there and then let me go ahead and snail that down that right in the middle there you have it so that's using the embossing powder the shimmery embossing powder that goes with this suite and there we have two different cards in two different colors and I'll bring them up closer and don't forget there'll be still shots later on if you wanted to you could even add a little wink of Stella let's try that I just want to see how this the wink of Stella would tie in with the tree oh yeah you could use the wink of Stella and just give the tree trunk a little bit of glitter here maybe you don't want all that white shimmer I'll bring it up close so you can see it can you see the tree trunk a little bit the shimmer on it okay so there's two cards different colors okay one more thing I did was I was playing with the new sprinkles okay there's our colors and use the sprinkles in the background here along with the designer series paper let me just bring that in for a minute because you can cut those flowers out see there's some flowers here you can even do the honeycombs on this one I cut the flowers out and I did inspire and then I put some wink of Stella on there I didn't do anything on the inside of this one but I wanted to show you that so let me just bring and again I'm doing a different color I'm changing it around a little bit so let me bring this one in 
So for this one, we're using Poppy Parade again. Again, because I'm coordinating with whatever designer series paper I'm using. Okay, and this is our new watercolor paper. And what I did, just to show you, is this is going to make it wet, but up high enough. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on here. You see it's got some of the sprinkles still on it just to keep the sprinkles in place. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Mango Melody. Sprinkle that all around. And there's a little top on there. So you can pop that in there pigment sprinkles, and I like the little tops on there. I'm going to use a little green. Whoop, a little bit too much of green I think I put on, but that's okay. Now it's probably already dry because it's so, whoop, I really put a lot there. Well, that's all right, we'll go with it. And how about a little purple? That's going to be a lot of green there. So again, this is the watercolor paper and the pigment sprinkles, which are match our colors. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Okay, you can also use your uh, aqua painter. I want to do this on camera. Usually I do it like I, I'll push it away from me, but I'm going to do this on camera. And I'm just going to sp spritz this. Okay, hopefully I'm not at a water here. There might be. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Let me get a little more water. Okay, I'm going to spritz it with my other spritzer, which is a big one. Okay, but you get the idea. I use the small spritzers, okay? I just had to grab my big water thing because that ran out. And then you would let this dry. All right, so we're going to place that over there to dry. However, for TV's sake, let me just flip this over. It's still a little wet, but I don't want the colors on there. I already did one earlier, and I let it dry, and there it is. So everyone looks different, okay? Everyone's going to look different. This, look, at I got a lot of color here, just little sprinkles here, okay? Then I, what I already did also was I cut out some of the flowers. Now these I fussy cut. Let me show you again. Just bring that in and just fussy cut some of the flowers out. If you, you know, you don't have to use them all. Get that little tree branch out of there. But you just go along. Now, remember, when you fussy cut, don't move the scissors. Move the paper. Okay, can you see that? It's easier. I'm just going to cut another little one out for you. This paper and these flowers are easy to fussy cut. So I know some people are on there saying they don't like the fussy cut. This fussy cutting is easy with these. Okay. And we're just going to bring it on down here. And then maybe just cut that off. I don't think I want that piece. And just do this one. Now, if it's got a square edge, I usually try to use that on the edge of my card. So, like, these would fit right there. See how they fit really nice there? But then that one's too big. Well, not really. You could layer it, actually. I don't think I might do that. So I'm just going to play around with these and figure out where I want them. And then I have this Inspire, but I did the Inspire in Poppy Parade, so I want to make sure that it shows up some, you know, wherever I put it. This one I happen to put right on the sprinkles. This one I think I'm going to put right on the flowers. Okay. All right, so let me move this out of the way because I think what I'm going to do, yep. Now for this one, I'm going to use Tombow. 
Why? Because it's a wider, Got I got a, enough of an edge to use. I'm just going to smear some, smear, <laughs> smear some Tombow on this. You don't have to use a lot, but get it on there, on the edges. Make sure it holds it down. And then hopefully I remember where I had him. Okay. I'll layer that right in the corner there. And right there. This one's going to hang off a little bit, so I'll trim that. Hold that down for a minute. Take my yellow one. I'm going to put that one right there. Okay, that'll fit. Oh, I'm sorry. I know it seems like some people are having internet problems. I don't know if it's the heat or what. My internet or what. And I apologize. Sometimes sometimes when you watch, try to rewatch it, it's better. Okay. And then here's the red one. Which I think I might end up cutting. I'm just going to put it on that way. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and... Put this down and then I'm going to trim it off. I don't want the whole flower. So what I'm going to do is just lay it right there. Press it down for a minute. I know I've watched other um, videos and sometimes they do freeze up. I think the weather does have a lot to do with it. I'm trying to trying to move slowly too because sometimes if you move too fast it bothers it. Okay, so there are all my flowers. And then I also cut this little guy out. And I might stick him right here. Just because he goes with the set. But before I do that, I want to put some Winka Stella on it. And this might be the one that, let's see, I'm going to grab my other one. Always have Winkastella on hand. Okay. This one's a new one. And this one will be really juicy. Let me get that started just by putting a little shake to it. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and start that one. Okay. So I'm just going to go and put some Winka Stella. You may not be able to see all that. Oh, there she comes. Okay. You're going to see it on the red more than anything. What I like about this is you don't have to be real. Uh, you can do it quickly. You know what I mean? Like I'm just throwing some Winka Stella on there. Just to give it some color. There we go. All right. And this one's going to go right about here, I think. So for this one, I'm going back to my detailed glue. You know what I, I just noticed? It looks like it's the video kind of stops when my hands go out if as long as I'm staying in here seems to be okay crazy crazy internet just a little tiny bit down here I'm gonna go ahead and close that up and then I'm just gonna lay this right here See, and Wendy says, no problem at all. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's just cut that off. 
All right, so there's that piece. And then we're just going to take the Inspire, and I'm going to put that right over here where you can see it. And again, for that, I'm going to use my detailed glue. And just dotting that. And I just have to close this up because I know if I don't close it up now, I'll forget and then I'll get clogged up. There we go. And I'm going to lay that right here. Yeah, thanks, Deborah. Like I said, some people have internet problems. Sometimes, sometimes it, everybody's different. Okay, enough with the internet. Okay, and I'm just going to lay that one. You see I'm doing it different. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and again, use extra snail in humid weather. I'm going to go ahead and lay that right down here. And then this one, I used one of those little furry um, centers from the perennial series. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try something different. So what I'm doing with this one is I'm going to use our epoxies. The frosted ones. And I'm going to put those in the middle. Because I have more of them. I would have put more of these in there, but I'm using them for my class and I didn't want to run out. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of those in there. And then the smaller ones, just like maybe here, here, there we go. So there we have the same card a different way. Oh, thank you, Deborah. So again, this is the Sia Silhouette Suite. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I do have something else to show you. And then I will have the the um, measurements and everything on the Facebook page and on my blog and on the YouTube video tomorrow. So there's the first set or the last set we did. Then here are the Z fold and I'll show you those again, but I just want to show you something else before we end. And then here are these cards. I'm going to show them to you when I flip the camera. But I wanted to thank a few people that sent me some cards. Okay, this was from Tamara Davis. So thank you, Tamara. I have two here for my friend Maureen. Maureen sent this nice card that she made. Oh, Donna, you're still up. Is it is it night? Is it three o'clock in the morning there, Donna? <laughs> and this again is from Maureen. So thank you so much for those, Maureen. And then the sweetest little card here. I had one of my customers come and bring her granddaughter before we went to Greece. And I showed uh, we did a card with um embossing on the foil paper. And this is from Maddie lovely young 14 year old that came with her grandmother to my class and she loved it. So she sent me a nice little thank you card. So thank you for that, Maddie. I'm going to just flip the camera. I hope you enjoyed my see a silhouette series. That's not easy to say. <laughs> and again, let me show you my shadow dancing cards and I will take pictures of them when we're done and put those on the blog. So again, don't forget about the specials that we have going on. Okay, join my team for $99. Get $155 of product of your choice. Here's the Inspire card. And here's the other Inspire card.
Okay. And then here's my adventure card. And here's the other adventure card. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to order the set or would like to order anything, just go to stampersdelight.com. Do um, You can go on my online shopping store and order any of the products you saw today or anything in the catalog. If you need a catalog, don't forget to just drop me a line and I'll get you out one. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a great Sunday, a great week. I will see you back here on Facebook Friday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do apologize for the people that said they had problems with the internet. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's everyone, so i sorry about that. But hopefully maybe you can watch the replay and it'll be okay. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Keep on stamping, stampers. See you Friday morning. Bye.